guys, so I'm here today with my 27, 28 week pregnancy update. As you guys know, we were on vacation last week, so I missed my 27 week update. I was planning on doing it when we were in Seattle, but we were so busy um, the whole time we were there, so I just skipped it and figured not that much has changed anyways, and I would just combine it with this week's update. Um, I'm 28 weeks and 6 days today, so tomorrow I will be 29 weeks, which is so insane. Um, I'm officially in the third trimester, which I think I have been. I mean, I think starting 27 weeks is the third trimester. I'm not totally sure, but um, yeah, so let's get started. First I'm going to talk about, I had my glucose test today. I finally had it. I rescheduled a couple times because we were on vacation and I wanted Jake to go with me and stuff. So, um, I finally had it today. I'm 28 weeks and six days and, um, at this appointment is the appointment my midwife kind of talks to me about like what my birth plan is going to be and, um, birth control and stuff like that. So, um, I got some papers from her and first of all, if you have, um, insurance, health insurance, most of them are mandated under the, oh, what act is it, Affordable Care Act or something like that, um, the, they have to provide you with a free breast pump or um, they have to cover breast pump for you. So if you have insurance and you're pregnant um, or if you're nursing and your baby's like under a year old, then try and call your health insurance and ask them if you can get a breast pump because I called mine and I actually have Blue Cross and they said as long as I get a prescription from my midwife that I could take that in to a medical supply store and I will get a free breast pump. So I, let me cover up the information on here, but I got um, my prescription for my breast pump and a kit. So that is awesome. I can't wait to go and get my free breast pump. I know I already have one, but um, those things break quite a, often and mine's not like the best one ever. And my friend that I lent it to lost um, quite a bit of the parts. So I'm excited to get a new one. And plus, it always helps to have a backup one or one in the car and stuff like that. So I'm super happy about that. And we're going to get one for free. So I absolutely love that insurances are having to cover breast pumps now. Um, because they're realizing that breastfeeding is healthier than formula feeding. And it keeps more babies out of the hospital from getting sick and stuff if they are breastfed. So... At least that's what I read, the reason why they're starting to cover breast pump. So I'm super excited about that. Got my prescription for my breast pump. And then next, she gave me some stuff about natural family planning, um, which I already know some about, but there's like a ton to natural family planning. Um, but it's just a birth control option. And then a whole bunch of other birth control choices that we can look at and decide from. So we got those. And then she gave me a paper about um, things to look for um, on certain things if you like you need to go in about if your water breaks or if you go into preterm labor and contractions and preeclampsia and um, bleeding and UTIs and stuff like that so just stuff that if I have any of these symptoms I should go in and get checked out and as well as the phone numbers to the um, labor and delivery and to my doctor's office so I got that paper and then she gave me this kick count and or this kick count paper and she said you can either do it on your app because I said I had a phone app for it or I could count or I can do it on here but it has a spot for every single day and she said at a certain time when you know he's about to move or a, like say Remington moves pretty much every night and around nine o'clock then that's when I can start my kick counts and just to check off how long it takes to get 10 kicks and then write them out of time and she said these are very helpful she's probably she said she saves about at least one baby's life a year um because she's done this and that like if that i should be worried if it takes between an hour and a half to two hours to feel 10 kicks um so yeah gonna start doing this super helpful she said some people think that it's a little ridiculous that you do this but even if it saves like a couple babies lives then it's completely worth it so um, plus I like to just sit there and feel them kick anyway, so this is just like a little extra thing for me. So, we got that, and then I'm going to be making a separate video. I plan on doing this video for a long time now, but I finally got the papers from my midwife, and it's about planning your baby's birth and the birth plan, 
And what it is is about, she, my midwife, um, what she wants to do is make sure that everyone knows that they have options and what their options are, whether they want to take advantage of those options or just let things run its course. Um, because with Caden's birth, we totally went in blindsided. I was like, the baby's coming out one way or another. I don't know about any options that I have. We didn't take birth classes or anything like that. So this experience is going to be completely different than Caden's birth. I was in labor for 39 hours with Caden's birth went through probably five or six doctors within that time and it was just nuts. So this experience I'm praying is completely different. Obviously anything can happen but she just gave me a paper that has like all the options and stuff in it and then um, she gives this to all her patients so when the nurses look at it they know where everything is so it's on the same format. So I thought that was really smart so if they want to like look at like whether they want pain medications or who's going to be in the room or stuff like that. They know exactly where to go to on that paper. Um, so we got our birth plan. So I'm going to be making a video completely separate of this and letting you guys know what is on it and how we um, hope our birth is going to go. And now I can get into my symptoms. As you guys know, we were on vacation, like I said, and you've probably seen some of my Seattle videos, but my feet have been hurting like so bad. And this is just from walking so much what like the first day we were there not the driving day but the first day we were there when we went to the science museum we were out for at least six hours and that was besides like maybe the 30 minute break we took for lunch we were literally walking the whole entire time me and jake didn't get much sleep that night because kaden got up early because we weren't at home obviously and we were walking for pretty much six hours straight that day and it was exhausting my feet hurt so bad um but then, not the first day after that, but the second day, my calves hurt so bad from, like, because my legs aren't used to walking that much, obviously. Um, but my feet started hurting really bad. And now if we just, like, I'm starting to get to that point where if we're just, like, walking for, like, a couple hours or even, like, an hour, my feet will just start to kill me. I've been super out of breath lately, too. Like, if you saw in some of the vlogs from the vacation, like, you could just hear me breathing in the camera, which is super embarrassing, but I get so out of breath so easily. Like, I'll be talking, 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 and then I'll just, like, oh my gosh, I just have to stop and take a minute to breathe, and if I'm, like, walking, I don't even have to walk very far. I'll just be, like, completely out of breath. I'm so glad we don't have stairs in our house because... Um, those are a killer when you are pregnant. On the plus side of all of this, I have had so much energy and it's just been since we've gotten back from Seattle, probably because we were walking, walking, walking for like five days and just out and about for five days and getting so much exercise. So when I came back, I was just like, I had like so much energy and my body just wants to like get up and go. And me and Kaden went on a walk early this morning because I had my midwife appointment. Today, so we got up and walked and just been had so much energy been playing outside with Kaden um, I had to de-weed the garden and I've just seriously had so much energy and it has been amazing especially to help with my nesting I've been nesting like crazy cleaning the house um, mopping sweeping getting Remington's clothes put away get just everything nesting I was even wash I was like washing the topper top of the washer and dryer and cleaning the baseboards in the house that's how much how bad I've been nesting lately I've just been making sure everything's in order and the dishes are always done tables always cleaned off and Kate's toys are always picked up I've just been nesting and having so much energy at the same time and it has been amazing I've been loving it and I'm really hope that it sticks around at least for a few more weeks because I really want to enjoy outside the summer with Caden and not have to like be sitting inside with him all the time. I want him to be able to go swimming and go on walks and stuff like that. I don't want him to be stuck inside just because I'm all going to be eight months pregnant pretty soon. I swear last night was the first night that I felt um, Remington have hiccups, which is super late because I think I felt them really early with Caden. I think I was like 25, 26 weeks and I'm like almost 29 weeks now and I just felt him have the hiccups and it was like a constant like it was pretty fast hiccups and his head is down low um that's another thing at my midwife appointment she says his head's down low and his heartbeat was 156 beats per minute so he's super healthy and I was like how can you tell where he's at and she was just like grabbing on my stomach she's all his butt's right here and his head's down here she's like but that can change um I just really hope he stays head down not not now but at least by like 30 two, three, four weeks. I hope he stays head down because 
I don't want to deal with having to turn a baby and have him breach and just so many risks with that. So Remington, you better stay head down, little man. For my glucose test today, I just, I did the diet that had like a one fried egg, some orange juice, half a cup of milk, and some cornflakes or frosted flakes. And um, they took my blood. My arm's still a little bit sore from that today. So I will get the results back on Wednesday. Um, she said she only calls if it's not a good result and if it's fine then they just don't worry to call you about it so I did that today um another thing is I feel so much better this pregnancy than I did with Cadence I just have like I said I keep saying this but I have so much energy this time and I may be like bigger I've already even gained more weight than I did with Cadence but I just feel so much healthier this pregnancy um I've, I'm actually like working out and I'm eating healthy and I just feel so much better about myself. I may be heavier, but it doesn't matter because I just I feel amazing and it has been so awesome. I remember just feeling with Kanan's pregnancy because I didn't have a child already. I would just like lay around and do nothing and eat and it was just, yeah, I went to school, but I just felt like crap all the time and I remember that and this pregnancy I just feel so much better and I'm so happy about that. I said reflex has I'm, I don't want to say pretty much gone away. It does come back sometimes, mainly just when I eat late at night. Um, one of the days that we were in Seattle, I actually woke up at like 4 in the morning with that really bad pain again. And I was just like standing up, like stretching, trying to get that big gas bubble out of my stomach. And luckily it only lasted like half an hour. It wasn't the rest of the night. Um, but I, have to, I still have to always be conscious, like do not eat late at night. If I do eat late at night, I'm going to have to stay up extra late, like sitting up. Otherwise... I'm going to have acid reflux and indigestion and it's going to be painful. So I cannot eat past like 9.30 at night. I've also had, this is totally TMI, but I've had, my nipples have been so itchy lately. Not my belly. My belly has actually not been itchy. It's been itchy very few times this pregnancy compared to with Cadence. Probably because my skin's already more elastic and stretched out because I already had a child. But my belly hasn't really been itchy this pregnancy. It's just my nipples itch so bad and I don't know what to do about it. I tried putting like my oils and coconut oil and stuff on it but it just doesn't help. Um, but yeah, this is already a super long update so let me show you guys my belly and then I will talk to you on my 29 week update. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this is my 28 week, 6 day belly. I may be big but I seriously feel amazing. Front, other side. I'm just in yoga pants today. Just my shirt up. From the front. From the other side. I think I might have like one new stretch mark, but that's it so far. And there's my belly. Thirty-nine. Thirty-nine inches around. So he's getting big. Alright, that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this update. Let me know if you have any questions. And I want to say thank you to all of your kind um, compliments and comments on my Instagram. You guys are just so sweet. Whenever I post belly pictures or pictures of Kaden, you guys are just always the sweetest. And if you're not following me on Instagram, I post there almost pretty much every single day, if not like two or three times a day. Um, so go follow me on Instagram. I'll put the link right here. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Bye!